Feelings. There's right. something for all occasions in the psalm. Very true. Yeah. Says so David was not afraid to pour out his feelings and show emotion. No. Uh, psalms chapter five. Okay. All right. If you were there. I'm already there. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll give uh, this. Kim's looking, so I'll give her a little time. All right, here we go. So Psalms chapter 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee I will pray, or will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will harbor, afford, sorry, will afford the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house, in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. Sepulchre, thank you. You're welcome. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Mm -hmm. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Mm -hmm. What beautiful <laughs> words that David is expressing mm -hmm. to our Heavenly Father. And this is just another example why David was a man after God's own heart, because he would pour out what he's feeling before God and that's what we're supposed to do and that's yes. what we're doing tonight yes. um, that's why prayer night is a very special time it's not glamorous it's not you know um, on display as a show it's a very humbling thing to come before your father in heaven and like a child goes before their parents you know um, seeking counsel and asking for help in something and that's what we're doing God's not impressed with fancy words or um, trying to be boastful we, we know that from the uh, Pharisee and the tax collector yeah. mm -hmm. um, you know when if we go in prayer boastful your prayer won't be answered at all yeah. it won't even meet the ceiling it won't even make past you know yourself yeah. Um, God will reject it. But if we have the uh, humility and humbleness that the tax collector did, uh, where his focus was on just trying to get himself right, mm -hmm. um, God will hear that. Because he wants to hear that. Yes. He wants to hear humility. Yes, he does. And, um, and if you don't know what to say, just say, Lord, let, let thy will be done. And, best thing you can ever say. Yes, it is. Uh, so thank you for joining me in uh, 
reading of Psalms. Um, and now we'll go ahead and turn it over to whoever would like to start down here, Michelle, if you want to. Brother Larry. Or Brother Larry. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this guy's oh, okay. So, Brother Larry, if you'd like to start. He already knew. Right. <laughs> Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to be here this evening in your house. Lord. Lord, we just thank you for everyone that made it out this evening, Lord God. Just keep your hand on each and every one of us, Lord, as we continue to go to finish that today and start tomorrow, Lord God. If there is a tomorrow, that mm-hmm. your will follow me. Lord, just... Uh, Thankful for Sister Linda for doing her body and her mind and having her with us this evening, Lord God. And being with Brother Mark, Lord God, and that he hasn't got a job, but he has got a job. And we just thank you for that, Lord God. And thank you for Nathan being here to see me, Lord God, and healing his body. Uh, and brought him back with us again. And Lord, we just thank you for being with Sister Linda Bain, Lord, and comforting her while when she had COVID, Lord, and you made her better. And thanks to you that uh, Max didn't get sick. And, and the baby, uh, I guess she's over a two, or maybe she's still going through it. But Lord, you're, you're at your will, Lord God. And thank you for being with uh, them, Lord, and being with Sister Kim here, Lord, and uh, comforting her, and maybe she'll get her house fixed sometime. It, it's your will, Father, and uh, you'll get it fixed sooner or later. And, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And Lord, uh, thank you for being with uh, Sister Michelle while uh, Dan is laid up, Lord. And just keep your hand upon his aching body. And be with Jaden, Lord God, and be with Brother Bobby. Uh, lift him up, Lord God, and keep your hand upon him. And Lord, I just thank you for for myself, Lord God, what you did with my doctor uh, Monday, Lord God, and got a good report, Father. And Lord, just uh, be with us, be with me as we continue, Lord God, and in your work, Lord, and uh, just being with you, Lord, is a blessing and a half, Lord. And Lord, just uh, be with the ones now on our prayer list, Lord, some physical, some uh, uh, spiritual, <clears throat> and there's so many thankful, Lord God, that we know you're working, Lord, because it's got so many thanks up there, Father. And Lord, be with the ones that's unspoken, Lord, that you know what they are, Father, and just keep your hand upon them, Father. <coughs> Forgive us of our sins, Lord God, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you, Father, so much thank for your you mercy Jesus. and your grace, Father. You have shed it for all of us in this room, Father. Mm-hmm. And just thank you, Father, for your love, Father, overall. Yeah. I just pray, Lord Father, that you be with the ones that are on our physical list, Father. I pray, Lord Father, that you would reach down and touch them, Father. Your will will be done in each one of their lives, Father. Thank you, Father, so much for the thankful list, Father. <clears throat> we have so much really to be thankful for that we really yes. don't even mention, Father. Yes. That many things we take for granted, Father. Mm-hmm. And I just want to thank you, Father, for those. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, for answer prayer, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, for being with um, Abel and Eden, Father, of the drama that Abel went through with yesterday. I pray, Lord Father, that you would help him to just relax and not worry about it. I just pray, Father, for him, Lord. He's been put through so much already. I just ask you, Father, to constantly, Father, be with him, Father, as he's with Jimmy. I just ask you, Father, to bless his little soul, Father. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I pray, Lord, Father, that you be with us spiritually, Father, Lord Jesus. Help us, Father, Lord Jesus, to continue to focus on you, to grow in you. Thank you, Father, so much for your word, Father. 
Thank you, Father, for each and every person sitting at the table tonight, Father, that you would answer each one of their prayers mm -hmm. yeah. the way you see fit, Lord. Mm -hmm. I just thank you, Father, again, for your love. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the day that you've given us today. I pray that um, you would please bless each of these ones here tonight, that you would um, honor these mm -hmm. prayers on the board. In, in each one of these hearts, Lord. Mm -hmm. um, I pray that you would please forgive us of our sins, uh, uh, that all things would be done according to your will. In your name, Lord Jesus, amen. 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 Holy Father, we, uh, we, we bring thanksgiving and praise before you, Father, because we know that all good and perfect things come down from you, the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Help us, we pray, Father, to know when things are good and when things are not. Help us not to be deceived, thinking that good things are bad and bad things are good. Help us never to put uh, sin for righteousness and righteousness for sin. Help us, Lord, always to be focused upon Jesus Christ and your word. Be focused in the Holy Spirit, Father, that we may not only be led and taught by him, but, Father, that we might be able to bear the fruit of the Spirit For Father, there are there there is a constant uh, struggle within us, Father, to yes. bear the fruit of the Spirit and to show uh, that Your Spirit is living within us. Yes. And try as we will, Father, yet we we fail so miserably. Mm -hmm. Help us to assess our lives daily with the guidelines of of the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Help us, Lord, to, uh, as, as Paul exhorted the Philippians, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue or if there is any praise to think upon, to ponder, yeah. to concentrate upon these mm -hmm. things. We want to be perfect. We want to be complete in Christ. We want to be mature in the faith. We want to be uh, perfected as children of yours, Father. And while we know, Father, that many of these things we will never accomplish this side of heaven, yet, Father, help us to so strive and, and, and to so uh, press toward the mark to forget the things that are behind and around us and look unto Jesus. <clears throat> Father, that we may obtain the goal and lay hold of eternal life Amen. unto which we have been called. Yes. Help us, Father, we pray, to get good at being holy, yes. to get good at being righteous, to get good at, at, at showing the Holy Spirit in our lives. Help us to be good at being humble, we pray. Lord, we ask you to bless our daily searching of your word. We pray that you will anoint us by the power of the Spirit and, and teach us all things that we may know all things whatsoever have been given to us by you. 
And Lord, help us, we pray, to seek perfection in wisdom, in knowledge, and in understanding. Forgive our sins, we ask, Father. Help us to strive for the day of the Lord. That that day would not come come upon us as a thief but that we would be ready and Amen. watching and waiting and longing and hastening unto the return of our Lord, our Master, our Savior, Jesus Christ, in his name. Amen. A oh, wonderful God, as we all bow our heads before you, and a sign of humility. Oh God, may we never be prideful, mm -hmm. never be arrogant. Yes. Help us, Lord, to just be in the moment with you. Yes. Help us, Lord, to have a submissive heart. Oh God, there's many on our prayer list that um, come from all ranges, either physical, mm -hmm. spiritual, special, Prayers of thanks and unknown, and uh, like everyone has said, I'm I'm very happy with so many prayers of thanks mm -hmm. because a lot of times we neglect all the wonderful things you do. We always just see a problem. We sometimes make our problems bigger than what they really are. We forget that you are the Alpha, the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. You are the creator. Our problems are nothing to you because you can solve anything. Yes. Help us, Lord, to strive to be better than what we were like yesterday. We're always pressing towards the goal, Lord. Going for that higher calling you have upon our life. And it starts in us to just be humble, to open up the Bible and read your word. It was written for a reason, for our learning, for our understanding, so we can help others. Oh God, I'm very thankful for the men who you used to put the words down on paper. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I thank you for the men and women who have gone before us and have helped teach us to follow after you. Lord God, help us to help others. As when we go out after hearing the, the word to teach others, help us not to just hold on to a blessing, but to bestow it on others. Mm -hmm. Because what good is a blessing if we're being selfish with it? And what a blessing Jesus is to everyone. He died for all so that all of us can be saved. None of us are righteous. None of us are good enough for heaven. None of us deserve heaven. But because of our wonderful Savior, our wonderful Lord, we have that opportunity. Help us, Lord, to uh, share that gospel with others. Help us, Lord, to be ready in season and out of season. Help us to study the Word. Lord God, uh, I think about my dad who once was lost at the prodigal son and yet has now come home. You answered a prayer, Lord, that I thought never would happen. And you proved me wrong, and I am so glad you did. Amen. Our God, he wants to learn. He wants to grow. He says he's like a newborn baby. He doesn't know everything, and nor do we expect him to, because we don't know everything. We're all learning. Open up his mind, Lord, to receive the knowledge you have for him, so he may use it and grow and teach others. I thank you, Lord, for the men of this church, Yes. For the godly leadership. 
I thank you, Lord, for the godly women we have here. Yes. Our God, I pray that we will teach our children to live godly lives and not allow the media, not allow the world to teach them. Because all that's out there is nothing but satanic. Mm. It has to come from home. It has to come from the Bible. Yes. Help us, Lord, to be true. Lord God, I just thank you for the grace that you bestow upon us. And I, I thank you, Lord, for Brother Mark as our evangelist. Mm. Lord God, I'm not putting him on a pedestal. But, Lord God, it's, it's good to have an evangelist who does his very best to preach the word, to, to tutor Brother Nathan and I in the word. As we grow in our spiritual walk with you, Lord, may we not depart from it either. Help us, Lord, to teach others and to be schooled in your word. I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity just to um, to speak to you, because it's always an honor to speak to our Creator. Yes. Many people don't realize what a blessing that is, that the veil has been torn. We now can go into the holy of holy places yes. to speak unto you. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for that. Please guide and protect us, Lord. And if this is our last time to be among each other, Lord God, we look forward to being home with you because yes. this place is temporary. Mm -hmm. And I know for many of us that when we just see you, we will fall before you, casting our crowns before you. And just embracing the fact that we are finally home. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we are able to uh, lift up our prayers, our concerns, our thanksgivings. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. I ask, Lord, that you will bless each person in this room. That you will remind them that they don't walk alone. Help us, Lord, to be our brother and sister's keeper. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, to be accountable for one another. We ask this all in Jesus' blessed holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for um, your prayers. Mm -hmm. um, so let's close out. Uh, let's do one more song, and then we'll do Roy Roger song. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask one thing? Yeah. Michelle, what did Dan find out? Just two ribs, but today they said seven days, and he said, Michelle, I don't feel any better. I said, what did they tell you? He said, I'm supposed to go back. I said, you cannot put it off. No. So, I mean, he's been doing a lot of sleeping, and um, sleeping in the recliner. And last night, you know my bed's not remote control. So he got it to a certain point, and I didn't sleep in there. I slept in baby's bed. But yeah, he still don't feel good. So. Good. Good. But it's trying to get on him to go to the doctor, you know. And I mean, there could be something else, you know, in there that they didn't see, you know, because it's a walk in clinic down here. So, <laughs> so our closing hum that we're going to do is 637. And why? Because this is one that Mark meant. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it kind of ties in with um, a good way to close out our um, prayer time. Yes. All right. All four. Uh, let's do one, two, and four. Okay. When Jesus comes to reward his servants, whether it be noon or night, faithful to him will he find us watching with our eyes all trimmed and bright. Oh, can we say we are ready, brother, 
ready for the soul's bright home. Same will be find you and me still watching, waiting, waiting when the Lord shall come. If at the dawn of the early morning he shall call us one by one, when to the Lord we restore our talents, will he answer thee, well done. Oh, can we say we are ready, brother, ready for the soul's bright home? Say, will we find you and me still watching, waiting, waiting when the Lord shall come? Blessed are those whom the Lord finds watching, in His glory they shall share. If he shall come at the dawn or midnight, will he find us watching there? Oh, can we say we are ready, brother, ready for the soul's bright home? Say, will we find you and me still watching, waiting, waiting when the Lord shall come? Thank you, everyone. So, Roy Roger, what do you call it? There's a song, there's a chorus in the blue book. Uh huh. Uh. All right. Okay. It's a shame we don't have the verses to this song. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful song. But anyway, uh, the chorus is what I'm interested in this evening for us. Mm hmm. Everybody got we see Christ. <laughs> okay. Right. It will be worth it all when we see Jesus. Life's trials will seem so small when we see Christ. One glimpse of his dear face, all sorrow will erase. So bravely run the race till we see Christ. That is beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, uh, with that, you are dismissed, and we will reconnoiter, Lord willing, oh. on Sunday. I love to hear you Sunday, talk. Sunday, way, Sunday at the Superdome. <laughs> 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 <laughs>